My name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman & Associates. Our firm has a primary focus of family law here in Michigan. And we're continuing our video series designed to educate and elucidate our viewing audience. So please, subscribe to our channel. When should a person start parenting time or custody motions if they want to get it straight and they want to have the arrangement in place by summer? A lot of people make the mistake of thinking, well, you know, summer starts in uh, mid-June, so it's already May. We better start calling our lawyer to file motions. Bad idea. You have to allow for the fact that the court is very deliberate in making decisions regarding children and regarding the scheduling of children and tends to not do things willy-nilly. Not only that, but depending on what county you're in and what jurisdiction you're in, sometimes it may take more time to get before the court um, and to get a, a hearing if necessary that in one place than in another. So for example, if you live in a jurisdiction and your case is in a jurisdiction that shut down for three months because of COVID, even though it's two years later, they may still be suffering from the delays associated with that shutdown. So if you're gonna try and plan it out, you better be filing your motion in February or March if you want it in place by June. Even that is probably late in certain jurisdictions. So planning is the key. If you have a parenting time situation in the summer and you want to make sure that the arrangement is in place, you need to speak to your uh, ex probably the prior winter, probably before New Year's, because if there's a problem, you need time to file a motion, serve, get it before the judge, perhaps have the judge schedule an evidentiary hearing, conduct that whole hearing, get the court's order, and get it all done before it becomes relevant come time for June. And it takes a lot more time than you think. In a Zoom environment where a lot of courts are still participating in, you know, you save some time in those things, but you also lose some time. You may find that in the Zoom environment, the court has a schedule of things that they kind of run back to back. The court might let you go for your evidentiary hearing, stop you in the middle until you come back next week. So that could impact you, both whether or not that's real um, in person or Zoom. So you've got to allow for that. So the point of my discussion is if you're going to plan for this coming summer, you need to do it months, and I mean months in advance, to give the court the opportunity to hear all the evidence and make an appropriate ruling. If you have any questions about that, reach out. We'll be glad to help you out.